Hey YouTube, I just thought I'd tell you that uh, we're being invaded. Yep. You know, there's always talk about Russia and China and Iran and these countries coming after us and stuff, but, you know, I don't think that's the biggest threat at the moment. I mean, I'm not saying that's not a threat, but we are under a massive demonic invasion at the moment. I've been working on an issue for several days now on this black Hebrew Israelite group and racism, etc. I mean, does it really matter what color Jesus was? It, I mean, really. Isn't it about the blood? Weren't we all created from one blood? Isn't that what the Bible says? So, why focus so much on skin color? I don't get it. Um, we're supposed to be one body. Wasn't Jesus' prayer that we become one? as he is one with the Father? How can you become one with your brothers and sisters in Christ if you're always talking about separation, racism, division? It, it's impossible. Um, and I'm getting a lot of heat on this issue. But you know what? My name's Kevin, not Karen, so I'm not Karen. The truth is, we're supposed to love each other, regardless of skin color. And there's all this division going on. So I just wanted to make a quick video and talk about being aware of what's happening. You know, all these riots and everything in Ferguson and all these killings and shootings and things. You know, I did a video a year or so ago about a demonic invasion and how people that you know seem to act different from one day to the next. I mean, there might be people you've known for many, many years, and then suddenly you just don't, you can't recognize them. You don't, you don't know who they are. You don't know where they're coming from. It doesn't make sense. My take is a lot of that's what's happening with, you know, all these police shootings. I mean, I'm hearing some bizarre stuff. But just yesterday I read a story about a deputy that, in effect, woke a guy up that was sleeping in a chair, waiting on a doctor's appointment in a waiting room, and the guy kind of, you know, he needed assistance of a cane to even stand up, and, you know, he stood up, and he, apparently, as the story goes, he wanted to leave and just get out of the way of the deputy, and it, deputy grabbed him by the collar and grabbed him and threw him back down in the chair and kicked his cane out of the way and ultimately started choking the guy out and then ultimately he filed a police report saying the guy attacked him with a cane. Well the whole thing was recorded on video and after a couple of months, I guess this happened early November and after a couple of months the DA you know, filed four separate four separate felony charges against the deputy. And he's been relieved of duty. And, you know, you hear these stories about, you know, kids playing in the park with play guns and cops run up, jump out, no questions asked and blow them away. I mean, that's demonic. You know, lethal force is supposed to be the last alternative. Um, I think I did a video here a while back about, you know, these cops that bust in people's homes and the first thing they do is blow their dogs away. 
I mean, even if the dog's not attacking them, it's just barking. They just kill them because they can. So, I mean, that's demonic. It's it, it's nothing but demonic. And you know, where's the outcry? Even within the own, the, you know, the, the police departments themselves. I mean, the courts are corrupt. The judges pretty much always side with the police. They're making it so that you can't videotape police, yet they can videotape you. So, clearly, the playing field is not level. Now, these are the people that we pay taxes uh, for. Yet, they take our tax dollars and they turn around and use us and abuse us and exterminate us. Now, I'll admit that the black community has had a massive problem with this. But the white community has also had a massive problem. I knew a kid years ago, and by kid, I'd say, you know, he's like, you know, late teens, early 20s, and white kid, blown away by a deputy in his own house as he ran into the house trying to flee the deputy that had just beat him up and stomped his testicles into the ground. Um, yeah, I had access to the autopsy report. And um, I hooked the family up with a good attorney, and they ended up getting a bunch of money out of the deal, but they didn't bring their son back. So, you know, the thing is, and who paid for it? The taxpayers. You and me. So, yes, there's a lot of injustice going on right now in America. Um, they're obviously getting ready for civil war, and there will be civil war, I guarantee you, because people are only going to take so much. That's what I think these, you know, race riots are about. But, you know, it's a, <clears throat> it's about more than, than, you know, injustice between, you know, the black community in the police force there's a lot of people that are holding grudges and they're running around beating their chest talking about what the white man did to their ancestors I mean come on I never had a slave I don't promote slavery um, never wanted a slave what's your problem with me and why am I getting all this, these hateful comments uh, when I try to expose racism you know Jesus, like I said, he, he wanted us to become one. How can we become one if we're constantly pointing fingers at each other and, and, and making accusations? I mean, who's the accuser of the brethren? And who's the father of all lies? What does your Bible say? So, you know, I mean, I even know pastors that are having issues with this. They'll make videos one day talking about how bad it is, and the next video they're talking about the white Hebrew, excuse me, the black Hebrew Israelites and how the white man has done this and that, and, you know, as they flash their assault rifle. And, and I mean, it's insane. It's, it's crazy. So, you know, personally, I don't care if Jesus is black. makes no difference to me. He's my savior. Um, a lot of people have come against that and proven it's he wasn't black. But if he is, okay. I'm cool with it. But why make an issue out of it? Why every other video address it? All you're doing is building racism, separatism, division, Trying to elevate yourself above the next guy. Um, 
I'll be honest. I don't. I don't know if Jesus was black. I don't know if he was white. I, I've seen a lot of comments on it saying that he had olive skin. Um, and again, the, the point is moot to me. Um, so I just wanted to bring to the attention that that not every thought that comes into your head is yours. You know. Paul talked about fiery darts and how we have to cast down imaginations. And I think a lot of people right now, even believers, are under demonic influence. And if they don't have the word stored up in their heart and, it, and, and they can't test those spirits, and they can't test those thoughts and compare those thoughts to what the word says, they're in big trouble. Uh, I think everybody has thoughts that... that aren't right. I mean, I know I do from time to time. I, you know, I'm constantly comparing my thoughts to what the Word says. I'm, I'm constantly rebuking uh, certain attitudes and things that my flesh wants to say, think, or believe. I mean, that's just how it is here. This is a spiritual battle. We the Bible says as much that we wrestle not with flesh and blood but with principalities and dominions and high places so I mean we need to wake up as a church as a group of believers as a body um we need to see things. And there, we got a lot of good people around us that are trying to show us things. I mean, these Illuminati symbols are friggin' everywhere. Now, uh, the church down the street has an Aya Horus right over its front door. And the members are clueless, except the ones that I've, you know, tried to bring that to their attention. And when you ask them, they say, oh, that's the Aya God. Well, it's not. It's pagan. So, it's a slow process of waking people up and sometimes you have to be willing to throw your most cherished beliefs into the trash if the truth comes and other times maybe you have to maintain those beliefs but you at least have to be able to analyze them and verify that the reason that you believe them is factual and is built on a foundation of truth I mean, didn't Jesus say, I'm the way, the truth, and the life? I mean, so uh, he is truth. So, seek the truth. Because no man comes to the Father except by him. And um, you're just not going to make it to heaven if the truth is not in you. And if you've got hate, and anger, and unforgiveness and rage in your heart you're not going to make it I don't care what your title is and I'm not trying to bash anybody or, or, or attack anybody's ministry or anything because you know we all suffer from these attacks all of us and so you know we need each other to help keep us in check. Have some accountable brothers around and sisters that you know, can bring things to your mind, you know, or, or give you a different perspective on things uh, maybe that you didn't see. Because Scripture records Satan as being subtle. Subtle. So, the attack that's going on now is indeed subtle in, in most cases. But it's getting more and more and more aggressive. And um, I don't think people will actually see what's happening. So, you know, my suggestion is to do a lot of research on it. You know, Russ Isdor is one of the best when it comes to the satanic Luciferian plan. I suggest that you check him out, shadowthedarkness.net. Um, 
He talks a lot about satanic ritual abuse, multiple personality disorders. Um, do some research on even Arizona Wild, Wilder. You know, she was a mother goddess of the Illuminati. And, and um, the things going on and the people around you aren't necessarily who you think they are. Most people are asleep beyond imagination. But the Bible talks about how evil men creep in within the congregation and they sit next to you and feast. And uh, if you don't have a discerning spirit, you're in big trouble. Also do some research on the Jezebel spirit and how these people that are possessed infiltrate churches. And um, start causing chaos and problems. I've seen a lot of ministries fall over the years through sexual temptation. And, uh, you know, that's part of the Jezebel spirit. And I've heard a lot of accusations going on over uncertain pastors and stuff, which I'm not going to address. Or, because. As far as I'm concerned, that's just exactly what they are, accusations. But, you know, where there's smoke, there's fire. And, and where there's repeated accusations, definitely it's something that people might want to pay closer attention to. So, I'm going to cut this short. But, like, I, want, I just want to bring to your attention that we are being invaded and have been. And I saw this a couple of years ago, and uh, it's getting worse and worse and worse and worse. And so read your Bibles. Surround yourself with some people that are indwelt by the Holy Spirit. Cast down imaginations that aren't obviously rooted in the Word of God and learn the Word of God because that's that's how you're gonna do it I mean that Jesus after fasting 40 days and nights that's exactly how he defeated the devil with three simple Bible verses so we resist, resist the devil and he will flee and uh, I wish you guys well it's getting crazy and uh, it's gonna get a lot more crazy the spiritual world, it, 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 things are ramping up and it's manifesting in the physical world. We've got uh, storms and all kinds of earth events. And we haven't seen anything yet. So, let go of the hate. Embrace love. Work towards unity. Though... You know, what does righteousness have to do with unrighteousness? So, so be careful about embracing unrighteousness. Use the word, you know, for reproof, reproof, rebuke, as well as edifying. And when you see your brothers doing something good, and sisters, when you see your brothers and sisters doing something good, pat them on the back say hey that's great insight thank you for sharing that let's build let's work towards building each other up and not tearing the body down okay you guys take care love you and uh, if I can do anything at all for you please let me know and uh, just hang in there and be aware of what's going on because it's getting real really real you guys take care of that. All right. Bye-bye.